The iPad Air went on sale today and no, it hasn't sold out actually. Nokia also moves the needle in their smartphone market share in the United States and yes, we are giving away a Google Nexus 5. I'm Jaime Rivera and if you haven't noticed it, this is actually the fourth shirt I've worn today. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official and actually very cool news as Nokia, and notice I did not say Windows Phone, I said Nokia, has just moved the needle of their market share to 4% of the US market. And this is big news actually, I'm not talking just about Windows Phone, this is just one OEM, even though it's most of Windows Phone, but still this means that Windows Phone is as well growing in the United States, which is great news. Nokia has done a lot of sacrifice, a lot of good work in their phones lately, and we are expecting them to actually grow. They deserve of it and it's actually great. Now let's go through some sort of bad news for the Android 4.4 KitKat rooting community as it turns out that the kernel's got this new security feature that protects it from malware and exploits and that's pretty much the way you root a phone. We still don't know exactly the way this is going to play out. Obviously the rooting community is going to figure this one out but so far it does seem that there is a hurdle there and CyanogenMod has just published their 4.3 upgrade but 4.4 is still in the pipeline so you get where things are going, right? And speaking of Android 4.4, on the good side, HTC is now the first OEM to tell us their plans for 4.4. And this is actually good and bad. First of all, in the case of the Google Edition HTC One, you can expect the update in the next couple of weeks, probably this, or next week, that's great. And then in the case of the unlocked HTC One, you have to wait 90 days. Yeah, 90 days next year when the HTC 2 is launched. And then for those of you that are waiting for, you know, Android 4.4 on your carrier variants for the United States, uh, I have nothing to tell you, sadly, we don't know. Now let's go through some hot news as the Google Nexus 5 has just begun arriving in doorsteps, which is great news, people are already getting it. But if you weren't lucky enough to order your own phone or if you're still waiting for it, we've got your back, don't worry. We're giving away a Google Nexus 5 next week. Yes, the white variant, 16 gigs, the phone that a lot of people have been waiting for, we are giving it away for free. And this is not limited to the United States, anybody can participate. Links in the description for full details on how to do it, we're giving it away next week in the pocket now weekly and I know a lot of you can't wait. And finally for the odd news of the day, Apple's iPad Air went on sale today. You can bet our unboxing is live. There are a lot of comparisons in our review coming up very soon but interesting I mean the tablet did not sell out for the first time ever I believe. Uh, the stores are packed with iPads. You could go to the store right now and buy your own or online whatever is best for you. But it's really odd, I mean, we haven't heard reports of crazy lines, we haven't heard reports of anything, so could it be that Apple was really prepared for this launch, or could it be that, well, people are waiting for the iPad Mini with Retina display? So that leads us to the question of the day. Um, are you waiting for the Mini with Retina display? Are you getting an iPad Air? Are you getting another tablet that's not an iPad? In my particular case, honestly, I went for the Air, that's pretty much my case, but leave us a comment down below, what are you doing? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.